Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off and I guess we'll declare war on Germany on the next turn. Don't have any actions left on infantry, so we'll just wait one more turn. Other than that, I don't think there's much else we can do on this turn. We can't go through here because I can't get open borders with Norway. I already tried. They won't give us open borders, it's not really even an option. As for the scientist, right, so he's not going to be worth as much as I thought, at least in terms of how much research will get done. So let's use him to finish combined arms. And then we could go for advanced ballistics and nuclear fission. Yeah, sounds good. Let's just do that. So that gives us combined arms and advanced ballistics. And now we can just get started on nuclear fission. It will only take three turns. We'll reveal uranium on the map. Hopefully we have some. And maybe start working on nukes. Would be nice to nuke a few people. Tradition. As for the engineer... Let's see, not sure if I'm going to do anything with him. We can send him all the way east and maybe get an airstrip somewhere around here. I don't think we'll need one, but I suppose we can send him east anyway. Off you go. And we got one more build left. We'll just get a mine near Hatosa. Yep, sounds good. How many more builders do we have? One over here with three more builds. Let's maybe go and improve the coal. That sounds like a good idea. We still need to improve the wheat near Uruk. I guess we can also do that. What do you want? Yeah, denounced us again. I don't think he got the message. We don't care. Maybe he has a hard time understanding that. Spain progressed to atomic era? No, to information era. Okay. Good for them. So, production. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, repair the monument. Carry on. Wait, it's not in the queue. Something is messed up again, apparently. Alright, what can we build? We can start some units, I suppose. Not that they will be done in any reasonable time frame. Alright, let's declare war. I think it's time. We can actually use SCB. War of Territorial Expansion. Yep, sounds good. Not that it really matters. Let's have some fun, Germany. Alright, so we'll move in with the tank, with the infantry and artillery. Good enough. We just have to capture the city and then it will get easier. It's a bit of a choke point that we have to get past. Alright. Two more builds. What do we need? Bananas and then the coal, I think. Yep, looks that way. And this guy? Just grab a mine to get some production. And I would still like to grab the barbarian camp. So how about we work on that? Yep, we'll work on that. We'll just send one knight. That should be enough. We still got so many units that require upgrades. But we are making 88 gold per turn, so hopefully that won't take too long. We got two more builds. Remove the marsh, that's 11 population. As for the privateer... Let's see, how many turns do we need to finish the battleship? 12 turns. We can look around. Maybe start attacking some cities. Just need to be careful. Oh yeah, we can pillage the trade route. 
One gold per turn. No, sorry, Rome. That's not a good deal. Not even remotely close. Information run again. Alright. So, production. Minus one amenities. I think we should build an art museum or archaeological museum. How many slots do we have? A lot. What else can we do? Artillery, 30 turns. Spy, 35 turns. Builder. And let's grab a builder. And pillage the trade route. That's 180, not bad. And we need to move one tile closer. Okay, this will take a while, unfortunately. But it will be faster once we conquer the city. That's the biggest choke point in the area, basically. Grab the bananas. Our other artillery units are getting close. So where's the closest builder to here? Because I'd like to grab the aluminum. Let's just recruit a builder real quick. No, seven turns. We could always send this guy. Eight turns. Yeah, we'll need at least one more builder from the looks of it. This guy has three more builds. So one build to improve the coal, and then we can send him east. Okay, that's what we'll do. Sounds good. Let's keep moving. Someone wants to loot the camp. Well, unfortunately, I can't do it. Actually, hold on, I can, with Coastal Raid. We got 60 faith, that's useless. Okay, that was completely worthless. But better than nothing. One more build. On this guy. Well, let's just grab a farm or something. Or a ziggurat. Yeah, sure. A little bit of science won't hurt. And the trade route. Just send it to Kinshasa. I like how Rome has AT crew units, but also catapults at the same time. <laughs> That's a bit of a difference in tech. What exactly is Rome doing? No idea. He's not at war with anyone. What do you want? Ignore this request. We got Cold War boost. Nice. I'll take it. And we finished class struggle research, which means we can switch our government to third tier. And which policies do we want now? Let's have a look. Plus 100% production for support units? No. 25% less war wariness than usual. I think we should grab that one. Yeah. And what else? 100% production toward... No, that's naval units. What else? 50% less combat strength reduction from being injured. That's not worth using a slot for. Combat victories over units from earlier eras provide gold equal to 50% of the combat strength of the defeated unit. We could use more gold, so how about we get that? This should be worth quite a bit of gold. Hopefully. Okay, we'll grab that one. And what else? Gold, we need gold. So plus four gold and plus one faith from all trade rounds. Yep, I think so. And that's basically it. Or is there anything else? I think that's it. Unless we want to change diplomatic policy. I don't think we do. Hold on, what about professional army? We can switch to professional army later. Right now we need gold. So we'll just go with this. Plus 122 gold per turn. That's much better. We'll just switch to professional army once we get, let's say, 1500 at least. 
something like that. Computers, since we just busted that. And let's do some damage. Now, there is an encampment, so let's maybe stay away from it. And I still need to move. Unless I just want to stay here. Well, let's just move. We need to get these units closer to the city. And move the others as well. Okay, good enough. As for our next civic, Cold War. I think that leads to other policies. Yes, it does. Okay, Cold War. It's already busted, so that's nice. And then we can pick up rapid deployment. We do have one aerodrome already. And it looks like the city we're about to capture also has one. So that way we could build an airport to be able to airlift. Return on foot. Mission failure. Agent killed. Well, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Fortify. And that's that. You can stay inside the city for now. Are we there yet? So, there's no need to send the knight anymore. Nope, there isn't. Not much else we can do here with the privateers. Their job is done. So, how much uranium do we have? We got four resources. One over here. One near Kabul. Yeah, that's already enough. Get the coal. We will need another builder. Sometime. We're about to finish one. That should be enough then. And one more uranium. Close to our capital. That's actually in range of our capital. Nice. And right, since we switched government, we can only have eight trade routes now. So that trader will be useless. Unless we lose one of our other traders. So let's take a look. Can we pillage something? Yeah, we should be able to. Not enough movement points left. Yeah, this is the unfortunate part. We'll take some damage on the artillery. But I have to make space for units to move through. It's not that much damage. So it shouldn't be a big problem. Attack for experience. And yeah, we'll, can, we'll just attack from here. Unfortunately, it will take a while. Until we move in with more units. But it's just a matter of time. How much damage can we do with the tank? Well, first of all, we need to wait for the battering ram. Pick up the promotion. Yeah, we won't do that much, even with the battering ram. All right. Oh, more uranium. Yeah, we can improve that one instead of the coal. Works for me. More artillery incoming. I'm not upgrading the privateers because there's no point. So let's pillage a few tiles. Because it's not like we'll be capturing these cities at any point. They are too far away and they are irrelevant. Now the builder. We got two more builds. Let's get the uranium. That will give us some extra production, if nothing else. Yeah, the city is focusing on artillery, which is a little bit annoying. But oh well. We'll just move it out of range. We got two field cannons. Past the choke point, so now we can attack four times with these guys. It won't do that much damage, but it should be enough. So, let's attack with the tank. That's minus 26. Better. And stay fortified for now. Okay, looks good. 
and production. Military Academy, 13 turns. Which city is this? Let's just get a builder, because we still need a few more builders. And use the biplane. It won't do a lot of damage, but it's mostly for experience. And that's it. More artillery incoming. Are we done yet? Got the uranium. And we should probably start building the Manhattan Project somewhere. By somewhere, I mean in Kinshasa. That's our top production city. Let's just queue it up after the power plant. Shouldn't take longer than around 15 turns. And new builder. So let's focus on improving the resources. But I would like to get at least one more farm here. 11 out of 6 housing. Yeah, okay. Probably not worth bothering with farms. Not really. Okay, let's pillage some districts, shall we? Plus 50 gold. Useful. Only half 10 worth of our income, but... Better than nothing. Whatever you say, Egypt. This is a bit of a funny city. It's completely cut off from the rest of German territory. So unless they got open borders with well, the Spain, they are not able to reinforce that city. Other than with units built in that city. But that's their problem, not mine. So let's do some decent damage, shall we? This should be a little bit faster now. That's a lot of spam. Well, it's a little bit better. Let's pillage one more tile on the next turn. As for research, lasers, or maybe rocketry to build a spaceport and then the satellite. Yeah, I suppose we can do that, especially since we got that engineer waiting to boost a project. Kabul, workshop. Yeah, we just finished industrial zone, so makes sense to build a workshop. Power plant to get some production. And does that. 170 gold. Let's not upgrade without professional army. That's not a good idea. You guys just fortify and wait. We can create a better artillery unit soon. That should help. Oh yeah, we got a promotion. Plus 50 gold from coastal raids. Sure, I won't be doing a lot of coastal raiding here, but all right. Power plant is almost done in Kinshasa. So how about we improve the uranium close to Uruk, although I will have to... No, the border will expand in four turns. Sounds good. So... Maybe we should attack the city. If only for experience. Yeah, sure, why not? Get more uranium. This is mostly to get production for the city. So, I don't really want to stay in city range, to not lose the privateer. Let's just go back. How much longer do we have to wait for the battleship? Six more turns, so... Not too bad. Civics. Rapid deployment or something else? Professional sports to unlock the stadium. Yeah, let's do that. We might need a stadium or two. In some reasonable future, probably. Back to attacking the city. Village does 25 science. And keep attacking. Hopefully this won't take too much longer.
only minus three. Well, it's down to around 50% Garry's on defense trade. It shouldn't take much longer. A few more turns, perhaps. We could use a bomber or two. But it will take a while to actually build one, unfortunately. What's Warsaw doing? Oh yeah, power plant. Let's just queue up a bomber after that. Before military academy. We'll get one eventually. Probably for whatever the next war is going to be. With Spain. So we'll use it against Spain. Right, one more build. What can we improve? Aluminum near Hatosa. Yep, sounds good. Power plant is done. Almost. I like how that encampment is basically completely useless for Germany now, <laughs> because it's too far away to attack us. Sorry, Germany, wrong choke point. Better luck next time. Going well. Let's pick up the promotion. And fortify. Yep, few more turns should do it. Okay. Just stay back here for now. It's getting a little bit crowded. Time to go back and repair. I have a feeling this will take a while. Now, I could disband these traders, but if one of our trade routes get pillaged, then I'll need them, so... Oh, Norway wants their spy bug. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't mind the luxury. They would trade the spy for a luxury. That's a pretty good deal. Will they also give us gold? Yeah, they actually will. All right. That's a pretty good deal. 50 gold per turn. I mean, 50 gold. Maybe a little bit more, actually. 55. Okay, 58 gold and a luxury for a spy. Sounds good. Speaking of spies, we don't have any right now. What's going on? Enemy spy captured. Yeah, enemy is siphoning gold. It's a little bit annoying. In Kinshasa. Maybe we should get a counter spy in there. But our top production cities are currently a little bit busy. So there's also that. What's our third top production city? That would be Kabul and it's busy finishing the workshop. Let's grab a spy. Factory can wait. And then we'll use him as a counter spy. Sounds good. Stock exchange. 13 turns. I think it's time to pick up professional army soon. To start spending that gold. Before more gold gets stolen. Grab a builder. And back to Germany. We can pillage a trade route, so let's maybe do that. That will partially make up for the gold we lost to espionage. A few more turns should do it. Hopefully. It's down to 91. No, I can't actually see the exact number. There it is. 53 fortification strength. Not too bad. Should be done soon. Swap these. Really? We can't swap? Come on. Well, I guess not. Just sleep the traders. We can wake them up once we need them. All 
rocket ship will be done soon. So then we can go for guidance systems to get rocket artillery. That's the plan. And two turns to finish professional sports. Then we can pick up professional army and get some unit upgrades. So let's do some more damage. Getting close. Yeah, before we attack, let's maybe form an army or core. That's why we're here with that other artillery unit. So there we go. And we got one more artillery incoming. That will help us do more damage. I just can't attack on this turn. One more turn should be enough to get rid of the fortification. I think so. Especially with improved artillery. We'll find out. We should explore this area, see what's going on. Probably some Roman cities. We don't actually know where exactly Roman capital is. Not that I really need that information. But we don't know if it's to the north or to the south. Come on, Germany, just give me the city and be done with it. It's not like you stand a chance. When you launch a rocket, you're rocket not tree is done, it. nice, and we you got sort of a great merchant. Grants to cosmetics, a uniquely manufactured luxury resource which provides plus four amenities. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. And production. Let's see, stock exchange, yep. Let's get that for some gold. And workshop. And we got a new builder. So, a few lumber mills definitely won't hurt. Let's get those. And let's see if we can capture the city by now. Well, maybe not capture on this turn, but we can definitely get rid of fortifications to stop taking damage from city bombardment. There. Is it gone? It's not gone, is it? Nine fortifications straight. Okay. Now it's gone, all right. I think we can take the city on the next turn. And then just peace out and attack Spain. That's probably what we'll do. I can't really attack Germany directly other than this one single city, so I guess we'll peace out, maybe try to get some gold and then attack Spain. I think Spain is currently the leader in science. Well, out of all the AIs, I'm the leader, obviously. Yeah, they are still getting 217 per turn, so that's not too bad. Might want to do something about it. And there's the merchant. That will help our amenity situation quite a bit. No, not interested, at least not yet. You have to wait one more turn. Or one more year. AI turns are taking everything. a while. Why do they keep Shame that doesn't translate into AI being competent. I'm just saying. Is this enough damage? Yeah, this is enough damage. I think. Or is it? Do we have to wait one more turn, really? Actually, yeah, we might have to wait one more turn. Let's wait one more turn to be safe. It's fine. As for civics... Do we need anything specific? We could unlock the naturalist. I think we are building neighborhood with plus six somewhere. I don't remember which exact city it was. Market economy, nuclear program. What else? Space race. I don't really need any of that. Any area civics? 
No, not really. What will we not be busting? I definitely won't be getting four swords. So how about we research that? There are a few useful policies in here. Well, not, not super useful. But I guess we can research that. Oh yeah, hold on. We could also research something really cheap. Because I'd like to pick up professional army now and then switch it back to whatever we were using. Maybe get rid of native conquest and replace it with professional army. Then we can replace it again with something else. Just need to research something that doesn't take too long to research. Yeah, two turns. That's what we'll do. And production, more artillery. We just finished a battleship. So I guess that's nice. We can send it towards Spain in this case, because we'll peace out with Germany in just a moment. What else? Pagoda? No, we don't need that. So where? That will actually be useful, sure. So, let's finish this. Oh yeah, on the next turn, right. What about that builder? That was the lumber mill, just get one more lumber mill and then a farm. Sure, we'll be working both, we are already working both. And three more builds on this guy. Yeah, let's focus on unimproved resources. The wheat, the copper, no, the copper is not in range. But the sheep. Anything interesting here? Not a whole lot. We can't even see the cities. One city, but that's not Rome. Alright, Germany, let's finish this. And give me some gold. Oh, great. We are losing gold still. Well, I am recruiting a spy to counter that. I don't remember how much exactly an upgrade to rocket artillery costs, but it's not cheap. So it would be nice to save that gold for artillery upgrade. Let's see how much gold we can get from Germany as part of this deal. Why can I not pillage the trader? That's a little bit odd. That makes no sense. Now I can, that was strange. Not sure what happened there. But now I can't attack the city anymore. Well then. Can we take this with infantry? Yes, we can, I think. There, it's ours. About time. And we got the boost. Keep the city, obviously. And let's just peace out right away. There's no need to stay at war. How much gold will he give us? Okay. Give me all your gold, thanks. He will actually give us all his gold. And all his resources. Hold on, will he give us a city? Do we actually want a city from him? I don't think he will give us a city. He would give us Berlin. Okay, where are his cities? Yeah, okay, no. I don't think taking any cities would make any sense. I wouldn't be able to defend it against Spain. So, we'll just get the gold and luxuries. Sounds good, that's enough. Gold, gold per turn, and all his luxuries. And all his strategic resources, so that he won't be able to use them. Okay, looks good. Accept. Thanks, Germany. And now we can go after Spain. But first I need to move all these units a little bit closer. <laughs> Start repairing all that crap. Oh, they actually had a sewer in that city, okay. However, it's time to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.